my little rays of sunshine. How are you all doing out there today? I'm Michelle the introvert and today, well in particular this morning, I'm in the kitchen. As you can see on my countertop here, I have a very busy kitchen. And a lot of this stuff here that you see in these Tupperware containers are actually different types of food that I brought in from the vegetable garden. I went out yesterday and gathered some things and I knew that with the amount that I brought in that I'd have a busy morning this morning. Well, fairly busy. I'm going to actually pace myself this morning. I had a little bit of trouble sleeping last night, so I'm kind of tired. And I have coffee number two on the go. Normally I just have the one coffee in the morning, but I'm pretty tired. So this coffee number two will help me push through the morning and get a few things done. So I think my first project is going to be, before I start this here with all the Tupperware, um, my first project is going to be some peaches. I want to do up some peaches that I bought on sale at the store. I want to get them put in the freezer, get that prep work done, and then I'll continue on here. So that's project number one for me this morning, is to get some peaches done up for the freezer. I just took these peaches out of my fridge. And so what I'm going to do is wash them up really well and slice them up and put them into this beautiful green Tupperware bowl. It's a nice big one. And then I'm going to add a little bit of lemon juice that I have here. Just a little bit. I don't want the peaches to taste too lemony, so I won't add too much. But I want just enough so that the peaches don't turn brown while they're sitting in this bowl. And then after that, what I'm going to do is um, I have these cookie sheets here. I have two smaller cookie sheets with parchment paper. I'm going to put the slices of peaches on those and then put them in the freezer for an hour or two just so they can freeze a bit. And then when they're frozen a little tiny bit, I'll put them into some of my reusable freezer bags and put them in the freezer that way. That way when I want to use them like for cobblers or things like that, or for muffins and, th and stuff, they'll be easy to take out of those freezer bags. in the freezer so I'll let them sit in there for an hour or two and then I'll bring them out and put them in some reusable freezer bags. So while I'm waiting for the peaches to freeze just a little tiny bit I think I'm going to go on to my next project, project number two, and that is to take some of the herbs and things that I've been dehydrating. Here's my dehydrator actually right here. The past couple of weeks this dehydrator has definitely been earning its keep. I've been dehydrating carrot greens, basil, parsley, dill, things like that in my dehydrator and I've been busy grinding them up with my little coffee grinder and putting them into containers like this here and I've got it labeled. <laughs> yes, but I got so so busy that there were times where I just didn't get a chance to get them all ground up even though they were dehydrated. So I have some put in here. These are actually carrot greens. And isn't this a lovely Tupperware container? This was actually given to me by Bonnie and Grant. Hi Bonnie and Grant. You can see that I've been using this quite a bit and I love Tupperware. So thanks again for this. This is excellent. It definitely comes in handy. I use it a lot. So in here I'll show you the carrot greens that I have dehydrated. They just need to be ground up and put into containers, but I have quite a bit here. I think I'm going to share some of these with my dad and my daughter Stacy, but I'm going to keep some for myself too. But these will taste really nice in casseroles and in homemade soups and in, and in um, stock, like soup stock. So this is really fantastic. So my next project is to take the items, or the herbs I should say, 
that I didn't get a chance to put in the um, coffee grinder. These here, oh, these are carrot greens as well. A little bit more. And in this one I have some dill. I have some dill in here. Now in my garden I'm definitely noticing the changes in the temperature and the season. I find that our nights here in Nova Scotia are getting cooler. They're not cold, but they're definitely getting cooler. And in the mornings when I get up with Gerald for work, it's getting darker earlier. And at night, it's getting darker earlier. So our days are getting shorter and shorter. Yes, fall is definitely around the corner. It's on its way. <laughs> so I think this is the last of the carrot greens. I had pulled all of my carrots out of the garden. So there's no more carrots in there. And this is the last of it here. And so right now what I'm going to do is take my coffee grinder. I actually have it handy here. It's right here. And get these all ground up and put into some containers. So that's my next project to get that all taken care of. I'm all finished project number two and I have this coffee grinder all cleaned up and I have the carrot greens in their containers so this one here is quite a bit of carrot greens in this I'm going to share some of this with Stacy and this one here these carrot greens are for my dad and here's some dill and here's some basil right there so everything's labeled, all ready to go, getting all set for the fall and the winter months, and for soup making once the really cold weather settles in. Now it's time to start project number three. So let's see, I have quite a few Tupperware containers here that need to be tended to, and everything inside of this has to be washed and the vegetables that are in there that need to be cut up, I've got to take care of that. Get them put in freezer bags. And some of them need to go in the dehydrator, so i got to get that going again. So let me show you what's in each bowl. We'll start with the biggest one. In this bowl there is some basil, oregano, parsley, and down near the bottom there's actually some Swiss chard in there. And it all has to be washed, taken care of, sorted through. So I've got to work on that. Next container. A little bit of everything. Some green peppers, some carrots, some beans, yellow and green beans. And I think there's a couple of small cucumbers at the bottom. Getting near the end of the cucumber season for my garden. And in thir the third bowl, the last bowl... There's some blueberries, a couple cucumbers, more beans, and some tomatoes. My tomatoes are just turning ripe, so I'm happy about that. So that's it. Those are the three things I've got to get a move on. And while I'm showing you things, maybe I'll show you my garlic. It's right here. My garlic is here. This isn't going to be done today. I'm probably going to work on this tomorrow. The past couple of weeks I've been letting these dry out. This is what I've grown in my garden this year. My very first time growing garlic. And some of these I'm going to be planting back in in a couple weeks into the garden. So they can grow and be ready for the spring. So yes, this is great. And I'm probably going to take three and replant them. And the rest will be washed and end up in my freezer. So I'm going to hurry and get a move on with these. It's almost time to take the peaches out of the freezer. So I'm going to get this rolling and then when everything's all ready I'll show you the peaches.
just took the peaches out of the freezer and there they are over there on the stove. But before I take you over there to show you the peaches, I want to show you some blackberries. I picked all of these blackberries last night. It only took me about an hour and 15 minutes to pick these. And I plan to do a lot more blackberry picking this week. After supper is a good time for me to go. So these will be great. I'm putting these in my freezer. These will be perfect for puddings or cobbler or blackberry crisp. Muffins too. So I thought I'd show you these. Now let's go over and take a look at the peaches. Ta-da! There's my wonderful peaches. My wonderful frosty peaches. And they're not frozen solid, but they're cold enough that when I put them in freezer bags, they won't stick too much to each other. So when I take them out of the freezer bags, take out the portions I need, they'll be easy to get out. Here are the peaches, all ready to go into the freezer. And I only needed one freezer bag. This is the large reusable freezer bags that I have. So all of those peaches fit in one of these, so that's great. So I'm gonna hop on over to my freezer and uh, get these situated and settled in and I'll be right back. Well, my friends, I wanna thank you so much for joining me here today. And if you like this vlog, please give me the YouTube thumbs up or press that subscribe button, that would be great. And I have more vlogs coming up, so stay tuned and I'll talk to you all soon. Talk to you soon, my friends. Bye. Bye.